Sagittarius, welcome to your July 15th through the 30th, 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi, and today we're going to be going under the sea. But I just wanted to let you know we're going to be using the under the sea tarot deck as well as the dolphins and mermaid oracle. I just want to let you know that in August, uh, we're going to Wonderland, so you're definitely going to want to subscribe and hit that little bell icon because it's going to be really, really fun. You're not going to want to miss this. So, yeah, in August, we are going to Wonderland. So that's super exciting that the deck is just out of this world. So let's get started on your tarot reading. What is the central theme of Sagittarius's reading? for July 15th through the 30th. Okay. So it's a time to move on. It's a time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. Okay. So I need three cards for Sagittarius's internal world, please. Three cards for Sagittarius's internal world, please. Three cards. Sagittarius's internal world, please. What's going on, Sagittarius? Okay. So there's some emotions. <clears throat> I see you being nostalgic, looking back at the past, being emotional. Uh, this is the six. Six of uh, shells, which is the six of cups. So this is childhood memories, or looking at a more innocent time. It doesn't have to be a childhood. You're just look, internally looking at a more innocent time. And then we have the refusal to self-respect, uh, self-reflect. We have the hermit reverse. This is Virgo energy. You're refusing to spend time alone. You're refusing to self-reflect. You're refusing to go within. And then we have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is dropping out. This is um, greed, lack of commitment, debt, jealousy. You're not doing anything to help yourself. You're eating, drinking, you're living an unhealthy lifestyle. You're being money mad, greedy. You're gaining weight, poor hygiene, um, bad habits. You just want to go back to this time when you're like childlike, innocent, and free. Right? Square, uh, I'm sorry, Sagittarius's family and home life, please. Three cards for Sagittarius's family and home life. So things are going really fast, very aggressive, turbulent, car bad karma is coming back to get you. and planning for the future. So the first, I'm sorry, excuse me. The first card that we have is the Knight of um, Tridents in the upright. So this is one. So this is your energy. This is fire energy. This is a Leo card. Um, so this is sudden arrivals and departures, blunt, direct speech, being fast paced, making a getaway, Getting out quick, arguments, um, preparing for battle, putting fears aside, fighting for the rights of others, heading for trouble, um, this is a thumbs up to go ahead with any plans that you might have. This is uh, sports, uh, getting exercise. Admitting you have no intention of committing to somebody or settling, uh, being truthful, loving to flirt, flirting with men and women, right? 
And then we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is bad luck. This is karmic debt. Um, if you did something to somebody, your karma is coming back to get you. You're in this vortex. Um, look at that dragon. He's eating the ship. Just this vortex of karma. That, and karma, you put it out. So you put something negative out and you're getting it back. And then we have the three of tridents in the reverse. Um, so this is lack of foresight, obstacles to long-term goals. This is Aries. So there's a lot in your family and home life. There's a lot of fire energy. And you're not really looking towards the future. You're just kind of like in the moment. Um, there's a lot of like temperaments and recklessness and... Um, impulsiveness and aggression. What's going on with Sagittarius' is money? What's going on with Sagittarius' is money? All in the reverse. Okay, so the first we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Um, so there's freedom. You're financially free. You found a way out. It's self-acceptance. There's freedom, finding a way out, escaping. In the upright, this one is a parade, a victory. In the reverse, in the reverse, this is a lack of confidence a fall from grace. So you're not, you found a way out, but you're not as financially well off as you were in the past. Right? And then we have the seven of swords in the reverse. So this is challenges. This is breaking habits. You had some financial habits that needed to end, and you're breaking those. with Sagittarius's social and romantic life. Alright, slow and steady, very practical and grounded. We have the Knight of Starfish. Uh, so this is the Knight of Pentacles. He breathes life into plans. He makes things happen. He's ambitious. He is devilishly handsome, but he's very slow. He's down to earth, he's sensible, but he's slow. He's very he's a very slow energy. We have the two of swords. This is difficult choices, painful decisions, can't think clearly, refusing to take sides, turning a blind eye. Ten of tridents. Feeling burdened, feeling weighed down, feeling like you're taking on the responsibilities of everybody, like it's an uphill climb. The finish line is in sight, so you're feeling overwhelmed. Um, you need rest here, and you're refusing to do that because internally you know that you need rest, but you're refusing to rest. You keep going and going, and you're feeling burdened, you're feeling weighed down, and you're feeling the effects of it in your social and romantic life. Sagittarius's career. Three cards for Sagittarius's career, please. All right, so the first one we have is judgment. And judgment is another karma card. So we had karma in your family and home life, and now in your career you also have karma. But you're escaping. And this is what comes around, goes around. This is right before the end. Um, end of the cycle. This is uh, the final outcome. There's a completion here. This is the Ten of Swords. Um, you could be in your career, you're backstabbed. You could be backstabbed. There's a crisis in your career, severe conflict. But 
you're getting the results of your hard work. You're free to enjoy a lavish lifestyle. You're in a position to afford anything. You have public re recognition. You have the status. Your career has matured. It's the nine of starfish. So you've completed the painful lessons in your career. You've, cre you've completed the building of it. And you're reaping the karma. You've gained the wisdom. There is conflict right now in your career, but ultimately, financially, you're well off. Three advice cards for Sagittarius, please. Three advice cards for Sagittarius, please. Two more. One more. All right, so we have the two, two of starfish, which is the two of pentacles in the reverse. Now this looks a lot like the Libra card, the, the justice card in this deck, but it's not. Uh, but whenever I first saw this, what I saw, so, so there could be a Libra. We could be talking about a Libra here. Um, so this is financial disarray. This is the uh, Ace of Tridents. There's a lack of motivation feeling weighed down. And then we have the Nine of Swords. So don't sweat the small stuff. You need to get perspective. All right, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful day.